So success really doesn't have to always boil down to making as much money as possible. But I will tell you that does make things much, much easier with almost every financial goal you have. However, one of the most overlooked aspects of building wealth, sustainable wealth, is knowing how to navigate the tax landscape, having really great tax strategies. Those who have figured it out have figured out a way to keep a lot more of the money that they're earning. This is just allowing the tax system to work for you instead of against you. So today what I wanna do is look at six fabulous ways that this is done. These are very popular ways and we're gonna look at both sides of our viewpoints on this. Now here at VIP Financial Education, I'm all about equipping you, the viewer, with different tools and different techniques that are needed in order to earn money, save money, pay off your debt, and build a higher quality life and lifestyle for yourself every single day. And even though the subject of taxes isn't particularly glamorous or exciting or enjoyable or entertaining, the more you know about it, the more it can really help you. The taxation system here in the United States is, is actually a very helpful tool, but before it can be useful to you, you're gonna need to understand how the IRS views the money that you're making, the money you're spending, the money you're investing, and sadly, the money that you lose. The most successful people in the world, the people like Bill Gates and the Musks and the Buffets all have entire teams of tax professionals that have been advising them about what to do with the money that their businesses make. And this was something I was always really blessed with my entire life as well. My father, from my childhood on, has been a self-employed CPA and has also practiced as the acting CPA for uh, all of our organizations, my brothers and myself, until just this year when he retired. So that was a very sad loss and I'm going through the transition process right now with a brand new CPA as well as a bookkeeper that I've had for several years. So I have a team and it's very, very important that I do because growing up with a CPA for a father meant that I was ill-equipped and had far too little knowledge on the subject of taxes when it came time to be an entrepreneur. You may not have the same luxury of having a team with you. So you're gonna need to learn from the best taxation practices that are out there. And I wanna give you six ways that the super successful end up paying a lot less in taxes. These are popular and some of them support what we do very, very well. The first is they're self-employed. They take advantage of the associated tax deductions that come along with that. You need to be considering ways that you can get involved with self-employment and the tax perks. Now, this is not going out and quitting your day job so that you can start your own business. Yes, the time should come eventually where that is possible and that should be what you work toward. In the meantime, keep your day job and rely on self-employment to gain tax benefits. You could stock an entire library with books on how to leverage the value of filing your taxes as a self-employed earner. And literally every dollar that's spent on the business itself, everything from wood screws to insurance premiums, have a category as a deductible expense come tax time. So the result is a reduced tax liability that simply can't be found anywhere else. The second way to reduce your taxes like super successful people is not selling all of your appreciated stock. They will oftentimes donate a portion to charity. In fact, philanthropy in general is very important. Giving back with the fruits of your labor is an incredibly satisfying part of living life as a highly successful person. When appreciated stock is used as a donation to qualified charities, two things are gonna happen. Donation itself is viewed as a tax deduction and then the seller of the stock doesn't pay a dime in capital gains taxes for the investment. So it's really a win-win situation. Giving back is so important. I wanna, I wanna talk to that briefly because it's that time of year, guys. Just last week, we were able to donate about $1,500 worth of furniture and clothing to less fortunate and homeless people. Uh, even late last night, coming back from a birthday celebration for a close friend of mine, we passed a gentleman that was laying in the street and was being snowed on and he had his electric wheelchair sitting next to him. And uh, you know, being able to walk inside and grab an entire handful of coats to, to share with this gentleman and just to try and keep him dry and warm through the night uh, is such a, a one of the best things that comes from achieving success. So giving back is uh, is truly one of the best rewards there is. Now, the third way that I want you to be able to keep as much of your money versus giving it away in taxes so you can give a lot more of it away to your community is being able to write off health insurance. The key to really stretching this deduction as far as possible is to claim your health insurance premiums as a business expense used to run your company. By doing this, the post-tax cost 
of your insurance could very well even make better coverage more affordable for you. Number four, using depreciation as a tool is also a really fabulous way of preventing more taxes. Anytime a business loses money as a result of asset depreciation, a tax deduction can apply. And a lot of business assets, both tangible and intangible, are gonna depreciate in value over time. These assets can include software, can include computers, can include different machinery, it can include big uh, vehicles. Big time depreciation can even sometimes be used to reduce tax liability for multiple years. The fifth way of preventing more taxes is using the most tax-friendly long-term investment vehicles. When tax-free investment growth combines with tax-free income at retirement age, you win big. And those who've grown their wealth enough to max out traditional long-term retirement investments like 401ks move into options like the rich person Roth, a highly powerful way to fund later life without paying a dime in taxes, potentially. The sixth and final way is that successful people pay way less in taxes by optimizing their retirement earnings. And using the money that you'll have in retirement as a method to pay less taxes today is considered to a lot of people to be a brilliant method to reducing your overall tax liabilities. And I think for most people that is true. Self-employed individuals or those who own small businesses can claim themselves as both the employer as well as the employee. And it gives us a much higher investment cap for things like 401ks. It goes all the way up to 55,000 thousand dollars every year. The key is starting to learn enough to get started, get out there saving more money on your taxes each and every year. While I do support and subscribe to a number of these philosophies in order to maintain a proper tax strategy, there are two things I do want to counter with on these popular points. Number one, paying far less taxes, and in some cases paying as close to zero or even no tax at all, can come back to bite you when you're in the process of pursuing accessing new debt weapon accounts. When you're out there looking for new loans, the lenders, aka banks, are going to want to see that you can have a debt to income ratio that falls well within their maximums in order to qualify for things like mortgages or non-mortgage related loans. So going out and trying to spend as little as possible on taxes may not be the best decision while simply going out and managing your taxes on a much more proactive strategic level so that you pay just enough in taxes is much, much better. The second thing I wanna to add to this is traditional retirement accounts have by and large been ineffective for wealth creation for someone like me. I can actually find alternatives to those whereby even with tax liabilities included, we can have such a difference in returns that it makes it worth it for us to actually see some of the tax consequences that come with alternatives to the traditional retirement accounts. Most of that has happened in the way of entrepreneurial opportunities. The best returns on investment I've ever seen have been growing and investing in businesses. If that's not something that you're comfortable looking into, becoming self-employed in order to get tax gains as well as using traditional retirement accounts might be a much better fit for you. Guys, thank you again so much for tuning into the channel. If you'd like to get access to one free coaching session, please be sure to visit the link below. That URL is www.freecoachingcalendar.com. If you wanna get an expert set of eyes to look at your circumstances and determine how much faster you can start to reach your financial objectives, we'd love to speak with you. So until we speak with you directly on the phone, check out all the videos. Until the next one, make it a great day today and take care.